Welcome back to episode number two of the automation series. In this episode, we are going to talk about a very specific case, and this is automation between a company, your company, and your vendors. There will be multiple cases that you will assign vendors to execute tasks, and you will need to know that they actually received the task, they're actually working on it, and sometimes the CRM, the deal, will need to be updated based on the input of your vendors. Now, your vendors don't have access to your CRM. They don't have licenses for it. And therefore, it creates a problem because there will need to be a human, a manual interaction between the company and the vendor. It's expensive and it's also time consuming. Okay, so we created a full automation around this process. I'm going now to show you both the logic and in the CRM how it really works. So if you want to do it yourself, you can do it. If you have a developer, most of the developers are not great with the business side. So you can show them this video and maybe they can do it. And of course, we can do it for you. We have a huge team of very smart, capable automation developers that can help you with it. The way that we were able to overcome this problem is that we're using the combination of Zo CRM, Zo forms, and some uh, smart scripting. And by doing that, we're able to extend the company's CRM to the vendors without paying an additional license. Let's take as an example the following scenario. A deal is being closed in the CRM, and of course, I will show you in a second how it's being done on the CRM itself. A deal is being closed on the CRM. A specific vendor that is being assigned to this deal is being notified over an email that is supposed to execute the job. Whenever the job is being done, the vendor will click on a form that is assigned to this email and it will need to update if the job was completed or not and based on that, the deal will get updated. So basically, we're able to have any external person updating the deal status without him going to your CRM. We also have different scenarios that instead of updating just the job status, we can ask if the job was completed successfully, if it needs more part or more services, if the client is happy or upset, whatever it is. So we can ask many questions, but here we are trying to uh, show you just, just the basics. So we won't go to crazy stuff. If the vendor did not respond to the form, let's say in 24 hours or whatever time frame that you think is right, we will send him basically babysitting emails or SMS or WhatsApp to try to say, hey, did you receive our job yesterday? If you didn't, let me know. And if you will not respond, let's say after three days or whatever time frame that you see fit, and if he did not respond to any of the emails, we can all manually move the job to someone else or using a script, change the job from one vendor to another and start the process again. Okay, so we can basically automate the entire process. If we are looking at the job, let's say this job is closed one, we just got this deal. And in the contact roles, we will have multiple people assigned to this deal. Let's say that one of them is the decision maker and is the one that's supposed to execute this job, just as an example. So whenever the job is closed one, an automatic email will be sent to this person and the email looks something like that. So you have this job was assigned to you. Whenever you finish, click on this form. Whenever the vendor will click on the form, it will see something like that. All the details that I want the vendor to see will be populated automatically into the form. And he will just need to select if the job was completed successfully or not. Whenever he's finishing, we really click on submit and then it will automatically update the job. 
okay so this job will automatically or move to a different status or a different stage or maybe account receivables will get an email to get paid for the job or pay the vendor or create a purchase order for this vendor we can do anything that you want so in this way we're able to extend the crm so also your vendors can see what they need to see with full automation wrapping the entire process and of course if you do it for 20 people or 3000 people it's exactly the same script the reason that i like this approach a lot it's first of all it's reducing the license cost which is awesome but even more than that, it's also giving me control to know that I am able to control the process on my vendor and I don't need to have a huge army of virtual assistants or employees that needs to make sure that the vendors are actually working on the tasks that I'm assigning to them. So I like this approach a lot. Okay. So I hope you like this uh, episode number two. and. Uh, very soon we're going to release more episodes with more cool automations. I will see you in the next one.